Right then, I'm making my way up this ancient track to the top there. Just met a few friendly people with their dogs enjoying a nice breeze. And there's a lovely valley over there. I can see Steep Home Island, which I might not come out on the camera. Right over there beyond the valley. It's a bit misty today. But out, and this is not zooming like it used to. But above those trees, I mean this used to zoom much better. I used to go out, and I might have needs cleaning I think. There's Steep Home Island just out there somewhere. It might come out when I develop it. What a beautiful place. Now, because it's windy, that it would be picked up on the video unfortunately. You can always turn the volume down. Because look, look at the beauty all around me. There's Roborrow Warren. I'm climbing up onto the Mendips. I've traversed all across the fields there. It's a whole day's hike. I was moaning I didn't bring any cheese, but see, the thing is with cheese, it always gives me indigestion. So basically, if I feel like it, I might stop off at the pub and have half a Guinness. But I might not as well. <laughs> Yeah, it's the 14th of July 2016, if I haven't mentioned the date before. We've got a new Prime Minister, Theresa May, who was Home Secretary. She's now um, Prime Minister. Cameron and George Osborne has gone. She didn't keep him on, she got rid of him just like that. He's just disappeared. I didn't know announcements of him going. He didn't read anything out in Parliament to say he was leaving. He's in disgrace, I think, because of his punishment budgets. Punishment budgets. No, he's gone. Um, we've got um, Hammond. I think the bloke Hammond is going to be the Home Secretary to replace Theresa May's post. And guess who's going to be Foreign Secretary? Guess who? Boris! They've given him a job. Boris is still in the cabinet. He's in the cabinet, Boris. I mean, they might be preparing him for later on, you know. So he hasn't got a lot of experience. They might be getting him prepared, because he's still young, really. If, if you like. I mean, years ago, Theresa May's 59, I think. Um, Cameron was one of the youngest Prime Ministers for two or three hundred years. He was 43 when he became Prime Minister. And George Osborne alongside him as Chancellor of the Exchequer. Now, who's Chancellor of the Exchequer? We've got... Maybe that's Hammond. Or maybe he's Hammond. Yeah, or he, Hammond's either Chancellor of the Exchequer or Home Secretary. I can't remember which. Yes, there's lots of changes. Of course, um, it's only the second time in our history that we've had a female Prime Minister. So from that point of view, it's um, a good thing, if you know what I mean. And we've got Hillary Clinton is most likely to be the new President of America and the first ever woman Prime Minister as well, so um, President. So history's in the making, everyone. Like I can't remember who's... Um, I reckon Hammond might be Chancellor, because they're quite a big post, that is, for him. They haven't mentioned Ian Duncan Smith, but then I haven't bought the paper yet. Um, she was putting her cabinet together overnight. So I've, uh, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I'll find out later. So that's what's going on in the world. David Bowie's going to have... Um, David Bowie's going to have an art exhibition of his collection sometime in the year, and they're going to announce it. So I'm looking forward to that. I should go to London for that. And apparently 
but we enjoyed visiting places like St Ives which is one of my favourite places I love it down there, me and Zara um, the kids probably do as well I remember when me and Zara went camping there once in the middle of St Ives one of our breakaways so Bowie um, has been in the southwest. Of course he has. I got a feeling he's even been to Weston before now. In his early days when he was um you know on the road. They all came to Weston and Taunton in those days. The Beatles stay for a week. They stay for a week. The Beatles did in the big hotel. Which is now demolished. All right, here we are. Look at the beauty all around me, everyone. Look at these lovely wild dandelions mixed in with wild grasses. And that lovely valley over there, look. And the wood. What a beautiful scene, everybody. Like I say, you can always turn the volume down. This also makes everything so worthwhile when you're out here. If you're feeling a bit down, or lost, or abandoned, or alone, just come out here. You'll never feel alone again. Like I said, the spirits of the dead walk with me. Over and out.